recent firepower assessment of the FNSS 6x6 Special Operations Vehicle, SOV, was conducted by a Malaysian team in Turkey, as reported by Malaysia Military Review on March 2, 2025. The primary objective of these tests was to analyze the performance of a Selsun's stabilized weapon systems integrated into the vehicle. Unlike previous evaluations carried out in Malaysia, which included trials of the PARS 4x4 and PARS 6x6 in 2022, this test focused on operational effectiveness in an international setting. Designed for specialized military and security missions, the FNSS PARS 4x6 SOV incorporates features that enhance both survivability and mobility. It combines mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP, characteristics with advanced maneuverability, allowing it to function in urban and off-road environments. The vehicle boasts comprehensive defensive measures, including protection against ballistic threats, mines and improvised explosive devices IEDs. Additionally, it features an RPG net and modular armor for reinforced security. A key aspect of the vehicle's firepower is its dual remote-controlled weapon stations, which can be outfitted with a range of armaments, including 12.7mm and 7.62mm machine guns as well as 40mm automatic grenade launchers. The stabilization of these weapons enables engagement with elevated targets such as those on buildings or high ground. Furthermore, the vehicle is equipped with a 360-degree situational awareness system and an integrated battlefield management system to enhance coordination during operations. The FNSS PARS 46 x 6 is powered by an automatic transmission system featuring 7 forward and 2 reverse gears, achieving a maximum speed of over 100 km per hour and an operational range exceeding 700 km. The FNSS PARS series emerged from a joint development effort between Turkey and the United States in the early 2000s. Offering 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 variants, the PARS family emphasizes modularity, protection, and mobility. These vehicles have undergone extensive testing in harsh environments, including desert terrains, and have been showcased at global defense exhibitions. Countries such as Oman, Libya, and Turkey have incorporated PARS vehicles into their armed forces. Additionally, Malaysia explored the PARS 8x8 platform as part of its indigenous armored vehicle program before ultimately selecting the AV-8 Jampita. Malaysia's long-standing collaboration with FNSS extends to the AV-8 Jampita project. Developed using FNSS technology, the 8x8 DEFTEC AV-8 Jampita has been in service with the Malaysian Army since 2014, with 257 units produced locally. This multi-role armored vehicle offers various configurations, including infantry fighting, armored personnel carrier, tank destroyer, signals intelligence, and battlefield recovery. The AV-8 integrates adaptable weapon systems, including the Denel LCT-30mm turret, sharpshooter 25mm cannon, ZT-3 Ingui anti-tank guided missiles, and a 120mm 2R2M mortar system. Built with composite aluminum and steel armor, the vehicle provides protection up to Stanag 4569 Level 4. Its amphibious capability allows it to navigate water obstacles at speeds of 6 km per hour. Since its introduction, Malaysia has fielded 12 AV-8 variants, including command vehicles, armored ambulances and reconnaissance units. Additionally, Malaysia has conducted trials in Saudi Arabia for potential export of the AV-8 platform. Malaysia's continued assessment of FNSS platforms, including the latest trials in Turkey, demonstrates its commitment to advancing armored vehicle capabilities. The partnership with FNSS remains a crucial element of Malaysia's defense strategy, ensuring that its armed forces remain equipped with cutting-edge technology and versatile armored solutions.